Hello guys and welcome to Disney Mirrorverse. Ooh, 15 orbs. Nice. Today we're going to talk about daily achievements, daily missions, activity, whatever you call it. So, first of all, you have to do this every day. You, you have to get at least 100 activity points. In my opinion, the most valuable ones are the ones that have modes, like buying seven items from Bazaar. You should be doing that anyway, so you might as well uh, buy seven pieces so you can get enough modes. Then uh, everything that basically has modes. Modes are so valuable and they cost a lot of energy. Gold is nice. It's, it's a good bonus. If you have time, you should do those too. Spend 80 energy, uh, earn 70 activity points. Look how much stuff you can get. So there's actually three levels to daily activities. First level is that you start with. Then once you beat, uh, I think it's... Uh, let me check. Okay, I found it. So chapter four on normal difficulty. After you beat that, you unlock the second level of achievements. Basically, whatever tasks uh, were giving you... Uh, minor modes, it's gonna start giving you major modes, uh, you can see right here, except one task, which makes no sense to me, like this one still gives you minor modes for 10 activity points, uh, and there is literally no use for minor modes at, at, at certain point of the game. Uh, I mean, there is some use, because there's gonna be probably new characters that you will need to level up, so I would never recommend grinding these from supply runs, never, never grind minor modes. Maybe uh, uh, if you're a super beginner and you need to get your characters to level 20. Uh, also, uh, surprisingly, you only get tier 1 diamond shards right here from 25 activity points. For 40 activity points, though, you get tier 2 diamond shard. And from now on, you get all of these modes. Now, I'm going to complete Expert 2, Chapter 2. If you complete Chapter 2 in the story on Expert, you unlock the next tier. But I'm not convinced that it's going to be an improvement. Because uh, I feel like major modes, you're going to need them for a very long time. And by the time you can beat Expert 2 in the story, you might actually still need major modes. Like, I still need lots and lots of major modes. Because leveling up to level 50 is a pain and it's a very long process. But I can easily beat uh, Expert Chapter 2. So I don't know if it's, if it's a smart idea. I will need... Uh, I, I will need superior modes at some point, and I guess it's nice to start collecting tier 3 gem, gem shards. We're gonna actually discover what, what changes in the daily missions. Is it worth it? We're gonna compare the rewards, and we're gonna see the energy cost. Like, for example, you can see the energy cost for regular modes. Uh, on the best node is 35 per 4. You can divide and see how much modes you get per energy. Now, we're getting right now 20 modes for a specific mission, which on my current unlock difficulty, is gonna cost me 12 energy. So 12 energy in here will get me about, let's say, what can I realistically beat? Maybe 10 superior modes. So I'm kind of curious, are we gonna get the same amount? Like if we're gonna get 20 superior modes instead of 20 regular ones, then it's definitely gonna be worth it a lot more because you will need superior modes to make your character stronger so you can grind higher levels of supply runs. Anyway, let's just beat it. We're gonna go chapter two, we're gonna go expert. I'm clear, I'm literally on the last fight right now. After beating this fight, we're gonna unlock the next tier. So that's gonna be awesome. Let's do this, let's beat it, and let's see what changes. This is gonna be probably a little bit of a difficult fight, but shouldn't be too bad. It's a little bit higher than my power, but I, 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 this team can slice through anything, honestly. At this point, I can probably beat three on expert. All right, let's do this. Let's show him how it's done. Easy peasy. Get some heals going. Uh-oh, I missed. Nice. First stage complete. There is three stages in total. We're gonna select defeating an enemy cleanses. I'm gonna gain some armor because I have enough damage. I feel like armor and defensive abilities in this game are far superior. I never take attack because if you if you can't survive long enough, then what's the point of having high damage? Glass cannons don't work very well in this game. 
That's why two support, one attack is meta right now. Glass cannons work well against like 1v1s. But most of the battles you're going to be facing here are going to be billion enemies against you. And sometimes you just won't be able to dodge every single attack. So survivability is definitely very, very important. We don't even need to beat this with three stars. We can beat this with any stars and we're still going to unlock the next uh, daily missions. Just spamming some heavy attacks. Uh-oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't die. I still need you, uh, Mr. Scrooge. I worked too hard to beat you. All right, let's do this. The final fight. We got uh, Jack here. Jack needs to die because he can heal his enemy, so I'm going to try to target him first. Skip. I don't care what you have to say. You got to die, sir. Nothing for nobody. Wait, there's nobody. Oh, no, there is people. My other guys are fighting them. Wait, are there? I don't see anybody else. Is it seriously the only dude we have? Is that our only enemy? I mean, they're probably going to pop out once he hits certain health milestone, I feel like. Nah, you're not going to do anything to me, boy. Yeah, this seems like a pretty easy, straightforward fight. He's pretty easy to dodge. Oh yeah, we're getting more enemies now. I see I, I see them in the background. We get Goofy Boy. Get wrecked. I still want to kill Jack first though. We have so much healing, so much defense, so much uh, damage. We should be just fine. Alright guys, I'm gonna kill the Jack, you kill the Goofy. Come on. Let's let's work together. Let's heal a bit. Oh I heal him too. I'm dumb. I'm an idiot. This this was a bad play. Didn't mean to heal him, but it's fine. Ooh, Scrooge, 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 Scrooge. Take it easy, my dude. Take it easy. Scrooge, come on, Scrooge. What is this? Why are you... I can't leave you alone for a second. Don't die on me, man. Who is, who is attacking you? I'll, 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 I'll kill them. I'll protect you, my boy. Nobody will hurt you ever. Just tell me. Oh, come on, man. I'll find two stars is enough for me. There's no way my Mickey will die. Mickey is... I'm, I can't wait to upgrade my Scrooge to four stars, honestly. Soon. I, I need, I'm missing just, I think, like 200 shards to get him to four stars. And it's going to be a game changer for me. It's fine. Two stars. We're still unlocking the thing. Almost done here. That was a stupid mistake. It could have been easily avoided. I was just wasn't paying attention to my Scrooge. I thought he was going to be fine. He wasn't. All right. Come on. Come on. Come on. Just die already, man. He almost done. I think we'll need to wait for the daily missions to reset before we can claim... I mean, obviously, before we can get the next level, so... That should be in, like, an hour. Get wrecked, fool! Oh my god, I missed. That was bad. I'm bad. Easy peasy. Yeah, you can do this way, way earlier than you think. Like, I have like 4,000 uh, power team. You can do this with probably... With, with Wait, one star completion? I don't care. Honestly, doesn't matter. We unlock the next missions, I think, right now. Yep. Uh, is it going to tell me? Is it going to tell me what we unlocked? All right, here it is, the next day. Let's take a look at my missions. So, I went through everything here, and from what I can see, the changes are actually very, very significant. Uh, there is, weirdly enough, some gold rewards are a little bit smaller, 
but some gold rewards are bigger so i'm not sure if gold wise we are in surplus or in deficit like i, I made them some some screenshots for example part two of alliance milestone 300 three story encounters 150. okay this one is actually a little bit bigger let's see the story oh now story gives you uh tier one diamond shards instead of gold so things changed. You can, like, I, I'm gonna show you every single uh, reward in here for every single thing. And you can go see your rewards right now and see if it's worth it for you to upgrade. In my opinion, it's still worth it because you uh, have a chance now to drop superior modes. And the thing about it, superior modes, you get exactly half of the amount you would normally get uh, of uh, these modes. What's well, it? Major modes. So let's say if you had 20 major modes before reward, you're gonna get 10 superior. And if you take a look at uh, at the supply runs, it's technically the same thing because energy-wise, let's say you are super maxed out and like here you can grind, basically it takes you one energy uh, to get uh, two major modes for one energy. And if you hear, it, it, it takes you one energy to get one superior mode. So it's two to one. It's the same in the rewards. However, the thing is that you're, it's going to be forever until you reach uh, enough power to grind superior uh, modes with the same efficiency you're grinding major modes. It's literally, like, I don't know exactly what requirements for this is. I, I don't know if it's saying, but here it says level 73. Just to compare the bosses here... I level 51 so it's it's gonna be a while so in my opinion it's worth it to get superior modes over major even if you don't have any characters at level 50 yet because you're gonna start accumulating them and you're gonna be accumulating them uh, at more efficient rate you can actually get major modes more efficiently from running supply runs but superior modes you can start accumulating them from daily missions and once you get a character to level 50 you have you'll have a nice stash to actually give him a decent level boost straight off the bat which is amazing now also what i like about the new missions daily missions is that you actually uh have a chance to get tier 3 look at this tier 3 diamond tier 3 ruby it's not much it's five so to form a full ruby, just from here, it's gonna take you. Don't even, don't even do the math. I'll do it for you. S 160 days to make one of those tier three uh, emeralds. 160 days. You also get uh, tier two ruby shards, which is a little bit more. Uh, you get uh, how many? Ten. So this this will take you 20 days to form one. Which is reasonable. It, it might sound scary. You might think, what is this? 160 days. This is stupid. Well, go supply runs. Go to whatever, Ruby. And see how much you get for, for the final one. You get 20 for 15 energy. 20. And this one, this one is really, really, really difficult <laughs> battle. Level 86. More likely you're gonna be doing this one or even this one. I, I haven't even been able to beat this one. What's what's the power requirement for this? Okay, actually I might be able to beat this one. So I could technically start grinding. I, I can't even start grinding tier three right now. But I will need it eventually. So here it's one per one energy. So giving you five of these every day of each kind basically gives you five energy multiplied by four twenty. Plus the gray ones is like 25 energy just from that one achievement, which is pretty damn good. So again, in my opinion, it's much worth it to upgrade the uh, daily missions just because you can start collecting resources, which you might not even need yet. But once you need them, you're going to be lucky. You're going to be happy that you already have some accumulated from your daily missions. Because even though you need tier 2 stuff, major modes, you are probably in the position right now to grind those very efficiently from supply runs but you're not in the position to grind tier 3 and superior modes and daily missions allows you to start stockpiling those resources until you need them for much better efficiency 
so yeah definitely definitely try to beat uh experts chapter two as fast as possible it might not seem like a good idea because you're probably going to be getting less major modes less uh actually you're not getting less tier two stuff you're actually getting tier 2 gems now. Before you weren't getting any tier 2 gems, just the gray ones. Now you can get colorful, uh, color tier 2, color tier 3. You get, uh, you still get decent amount of major modes. You get more gold, in my opinion, in total. You get more, more stuff for doing absolutely the same things. So, totally, totally worth it. Do the upgrade and collect all of these nice resources. You still get decent amount of major modes, to be fair. And you still get minor modes for some reason. This blows my mind. There is... Okay, I can understand uh, uh, tier 1 gems. I can understand because they're still used to upgrade characters even on higher levels. But why on earth would I need tier 1 modes? Minor modes. Once you get your character to level 20, they're useless. I mean, granted, there's a lot of characters. But most people will not upgrade every single character. They will choose specific characters and they will be investing all the resources in those characters so at some point minor modes will become obsolete but i'm pretty confident at some point in the future they're going to make a system where you can convert them into uh, next year modes that would make sense for now just keep collecting them if they release a character that you like or if you get let's say a five star that you think is going to be useful in your collection and you want to level them up just dump all of them into your new character never grind supply runs for minor modes for or for tier one tier one is so easy to grind actually you can like literally get one guaranteed gem from just running the first time look at this you can just farm tier one rubies absolutely incredible i have nine of them i i, I dropped them like pancakes so you don't you really want to try to get to expert two uh, beats chapter two and expert as soon as possible so you can stop uh, stockpiling uh, resources that you can easily grind and start stockpiling resources that you won't be able easily grind for some time. That's just my opinion. I'm I'm pretty happy with it. You can look at the rewards, compare it to your own rewards, and see if it's worth it for you or not. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Let's open this crystal since it's already here. Maybe we'll get something amazing. It is a two-hour crystal, but you know, you never know. Four orbs. I'll take it. You know what? I let's let's finish this video with a little crystal opening. I have a bunch of crystals to open. Uh, let's see what we got. I'm I'm keeping these radiant choice crystals for a different video, but I will open my glowing crystals. Maybe we'll get a three star Scrooge McDuck. That would make me super happy. Ooh, Rapunzel. Oh no, she's only one star. One star. One star. Aladdin. One. Two star. Okay, fancy. Wow, I'm getting a lot of Evil Queen. I think I'm gonna get her to five stars very soon. Which I'm pretty happy about. She's a really good support character. You can use her in Royalty Tower. Uh, beautiful. I'll take it. Let's open a few stel stellar crystals as well. How many? One. Well, better than nothing. Oh, no. Ooh, three stars at least. Okay, I'll take three. I'll take a hundred uh, green shards for sure. What else can we do here? Might as well go and spend my uh, Stardust. Sorry, not Stardust. Uh, oh, perfection. I have just enough to buy two more crystals. So we're going to buy one of these. And then we're going to start buying these. I'm, I'm definitely going to be able to buy all of them by the time this event ends. Also, yeah, I'm recording this before I upload this. So there's still 13 days for me to grind this event, which is amazing. I'll be able to grind 20,000 more pretty easily, I'm sure. And maybe I'll even be able to pick up Universal Synchronet or something. Tier 4 Diamond Shards. What the hell do you need Tier 4 Diamonds for? This is scary. Oh my god. You need a lot. <laughs> you need a lot of those. Alright, let's open these crystals and it's going to be done for now. I have a few famed. We're going to open one. Ian. Come on, give me some 5 stars. Give me a 5 star, man. Give me game. Give me, give me, give me. 1. 2. Three, three star. Who is this gonna be? Ooh, Maui. I'll take Maui. I actually need him for Seafaring Tower. He's almost four star. Amazing. Super happy with that pull. And we have one Aladdin crystal. Please don't give me Aladdin. I have already almost at five stars. One, two, 
three. Another three star. I'll take that. Oh, <gasps> yes. 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 Ariel is three stars. I'm so happy right now. I need her so badly and she was only two stars. Oh my god, that was that was beautiful. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more content and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.